probably TCP and Mr. Wilson from the TCP Academy. Today we're going to be looking at the May-June 2021 Agriculture Science Singular Award paper. We're going to be looking at question number five today. Just a reminder, if you have not yet liked, share, or subscribe, it's now time for you to do so. Be reminded that when you subscribe, we're asking you to hit that notification bell and select all so you'll be notified as soon as there is a new publication. We also want you to leave us a comment. Tell us what is it that you'd love for us to do next. We'd also love to know where you are in the Caribbean and if you're in Jamaica, which school and parish you're at. Remember to share this content with the members of your class and the other classes. There are going to be some cards at the end of this video. Click on one of those cards to make sure that you continue learning. Or you can look to the top of the video. There will be a little exclamation mark in white. You can click on that mark to find a agricultural video. Let's move right into question number five. Section three. Answer all questions. On a recent field trip to livestock feed mill, students were told that the feed mill produces production ration for many classes of animals. Define the term production ration. Production ration is pretty much a type of feed given to animals which supplies more nutrient than the regular feed. It ensures high yield in animals. So production ra ration pretty much is a feed mix that is given to animal, and it is pretty much a higher energy uh, meal, higher complex there, and it produces a higher yield and yield speed to in a shorter time as well. Farmer Andy receives two different bags of poultry feed from livestock feed mill with labels showing the constituents of the feed as presented in table two. Now table two is pretty much the constituents of two types of poultry feed. We're seeing there the independent variable in the first column, which is of course the constituent variable the constituents and this of course if we're going to put this on the graph this would go on the x-axis where we pl plot the dependent variable on the y-axis that would have been the feed type. Let's get back to this question. Which of the two types of feed is better suited for broiler birds at four to six weeks of age? Give two Interesting to note that boiler bird in most commercial production at about four weeks, they are pretty much at a stage for slaughter. So at this point, the need for protein for rapid growth, there'll be no need for that because they're pretty much at the end of the road. Well, let's look at our answer. The choice I have here is, of course, A. If your answer is different, let me know in the comment and give me your reason. Reasons. The, birds, the bird has no need for the higher crude protein as its most profitable growing years would have passed. That's the first thing. Another thing we can look at is that the mineral need becomes less at that point four weeks of a cycle because we said they are pretty much at the end of the road they are no finisher so the the feed there is a starter feed so of course it's going to be uh b there is going to be given more uh protein what we need is a finisher which is of course feed a so i chose feed a as my answer farmer sunita raises layer birds for egg she uses the equipment shown in figure one to prepare her eggs for the market. This equipment is available. You can find this equipment on Amazon. You can search the internet 
to find it. The equipment used in preparing eggs for the market. This is the title for those students who still don't remember the title of the diagram. State the name of the equipment shown in figure one. Well, it is pretty much an egg scale, particularly it is called an incredible egg scale. Explain why this equipment is necessary when preparing table eggs for the market. It helps to reduce waste for the farmer as it is used to classify slash grade eggs for the market, thus preventing confusion regarding egg quality. It also helps the egg farmer to communicate a standard in the market for the customer. So there's no confusion here and the customer won't go saying that this is not good, this is spoiled or anything like that because they would understand the grades, the eggs are properly classified by size and weight. So you determine what is it. Farmer Sanita observed one of her worker washing the eggs instead of wiping them with a damp cloth. Now this is definitely a bad practice and if persons are putting the eggs in the water and washing them I can tell you what is going to happen. When you purchase that egg and you are preparing a boiled egg, at the end of boiling the egg, the white part of the egg is going to appear as if it's wet. Not as solid as it would have been if she had followed the proper procedure to wipe it off. Another thing is that it's going to spoil really quicker. And in boiling, you'll get that very, 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 very strong sulfur smell if they are soaking the egg in water before they send it on to the market. We're supposed to suggest two reasons why eggs should not be washed. The first, it removes a natural protective barrier of the shell, which is of course called a bloom or a cuticle, thus increases the chance of the egg spoiling while it gets to the market. The second thing is that it could cause the transfer of harmful bacteria from outside of the egg to the inside of the egg. Please do not wash the eggs, prepare and pick them up in time and of course wipe them off so that they will reach the market and persons are going to get that which they are paying for or else the farmer will be losing the market and pretty soon will not have anywhere to sell these eggs that are not. This takes us to the end of the question, question number five for the 2021 Articles of Science Single Award paper. Please be reminded to like, share, and of course, subscribe. And when you subscribe, please be reminded to click that notification bell and select all so you'll be notified whenever there is a new we want you to leave us a comment. Tell us what is it that you love for us to publish next. And we also would love to know from you which Caribbean island you're from and if you're in Jamaica, which parish and school you attend. Remember, study to show thyself approved. What good? See you this evening for a new video.